Amen. Well, we're glad to uh, be back with you today. Amen. Through Facebook and through YouTube. Amen. Uh, glory be to God. And I thought Jesus Christ uh, is coming soon and we need to be ready. Glory be to God. Amen. I, I, I thought... Uh, I thought uh, I was on Facebook the other day, or just 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 a few days ago, and this young boy, he's backslidden right now. Uh, uh, as far as I know, he's still backslidden. I pray that he's gotten back right with the Lord. I hope he has. Uh, but uh, he raises chickens. He's a young man. And uh, he raises chickens. And uh, so he had stated on Facebook the other day that he had found a snake in his uh, chicken pen. And so uh, he said that he was able to kill the black snake before the snake got to his chickens or his eggs. And so that began to got me thinking about a message. And, uh, and, and this is what I'd like to preach on this day by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. And by the title of this message is Snake Bitten. Amen. Now you're, you're probably saying, well, Brother Sam, where are you going with this? Turn with me to the book of Genesis chapter 3. Now the serpent, in verse 1, now the serpent, or in other words, Satan, was more subtile than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. In other words, uh, uh, Satan used this beast. Uh, uh, Satan, at one time, I, I, I feel like, uh, I feel like at one time that, that uh, the serpent, uh, was a beautiful animal at one time. I, I, I you know, I feel like that uh, that he was uh, beautiful at one time. The the serpent that is, because he was subtile, and he could deceive. I want you to notice, and he said unto the woman, "Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of the very tree of the garden." And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. Amen. Glory be to God. I want you to notice. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, for God doeth know that in the day that ye the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Uh, amen. Glory be to God. I want you to notice. Uh, and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, uh, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, uh, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, uh, uh, she took of the fruit thereof, uh, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, uh, and he did eat, and the eyes of them both were opened, uh, and they knew they were naked, uh, and they sewed fig leaves together, uh, and made themselves uh, aprons. Uh, amen. Glory be to God. Uh, glory be to God. I thought today uh, uh, people has been snake bitten today. Uh, glory be to God. Every human, uh, I don't care uh, uh, from the age, uh, from the time that you was born uh, until the time that you die. Uh, you've been snake bitten. Uh, we was born in 
sin. Now I believe there's an age of accountability that we get to. Until we get to the age of accountability, glory be to God, I feel like God ain't going to hold us unto that sin until we come to the age of accountability. Amen. In other words, what I'm saying is that when a baby dies, I feel like they go to heaven. Glory be to God. Amen. We've got abortions in our clinic in America today. That's murdering our kids by the millions, the thousands every day. It is sin. But we've got to get back to the Word of God. And man, let me tell you, people have been snake bitten today. Sin is running on the red page of America. America is the most barbaric nation there is on the face of this earth. But let me tell you, you don't have to join up with the barbaric nation. You can be forgiven through the blood of the Lamb. You can be forgiven through Jesus Christ. Amen. We may be snake bitten, but I'm here to tell you, there is a remedy for being snake bitten, and that is the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory be to God. Hey, man. Glory be to God. I thought, my. Glory be to God. I thought when a person gets snake bitten by a poisonous snake, they, they, they take, come on now, listen to this. Glory be to God. They take that snake venom and they turn it into, glory be to God, an antibiotic and it fights against itself. They use that snake venom for an antibiotic. Come on now. Glory be to God. I want you to understand this. Glory be to God. A Satan was an angel at one time. A Satan was the top angel. Amen. But pride got in his life and he fell. Glory be to God. I thought, man, let me tell you something. God sent his only begotten son to shed his blood. Let me tell you, it takes the blood of Jesus Christ for the remedy of being snake bitten. Glory be to God. I want you to go with me to the book of Mark. Glory be to God to the book of Mark chapter 16. Very, very familiar scriptures. I'm trying to hurry up with this. Mark chapter 16 and verse 15. And he said unto them, Go ye into the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. Oh, come on. And these signs, this is what I want you to understand. And these signs shall follow them that believe. It's not talking about only a minister or a preacher or a pastor. But he said to everyone that believe in my name, in the name of Jesus, shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. Let me tell you, when we get saved and we get washed in the blood of the Lamb, that filthy language will go. Come on now. Glory be to God. They shall take up serpents. This ain't talking about literally physically taking up the serpent and doing the snake handling. But this is spiritual. Amen. In other words, come on now. We've got authority over the devil. We've got authority over the serpent. We've got authority over that snake. Come on. 
Glory be to God. i got to go back into Genesis on this. Hey Amen. They shall take up a serpent, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Hey Amen. We could dwell on this. Oh, oh, for a long time. But time won't permit us. I want to go back to Genesis chapter 3. Hey Amen. I want you to notice that in chapter 3 and verse 16, hey Amen, back up to verse 15. Glory be to God. Hey Amen. Well, back up with me to verse 14. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field, upon the belly shalt thou go, and thus shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. And it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. But I want you to notice in verse 15, and it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Amen. Glory be to God. The prophecy of the Son of Man was given out. Amen. Glory be to God. Let me tell you, there is a remedy. I've been snake bitten. Amen. Glory be to God. Oh, let me tell you. Uh, turn with me to the book of John, uh, uh, chapter 10 and verse 10. Uh, I want you to notice Jesus said this, uh, The thief cometh not uh, but to steal and to kill and to destroy. Let me tell you, Satan has come uh, to bite every Christian. Uh, uh, Satan has come uh, to try to bite every child of God. Uh, amen. Uh, he has come. Uh, amen. He's trying to steal, he's tried to kill, and he's tried to destroy. But I want you to notice what Jesus said. Jesus said, I come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Amen. Glory be to God. Jesus is real. Jesus is coming again. Glory be to God. As sure as in this world, as sure as in this world, as God is real, and as Jesus Christ is real, Satan is real. Amen. Let's go to prayer. If you're lost, I'd like to invite you to come to know the Lord Jesus Christ. Gracious Heavenly Father, we come before you through the blood of the Lamb. Lord, we pray that you will touch right now, Lord God. Father, we ask that you will move right now, Lord God. Lord God, you're the great I am, Alpha and Omega. We pray if there's one that's lost, that you will save their soul, and that they'll confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, according to Romans chapter 10. Amen, amen. Glory be to God. And Lord, those that are sick, Touch their body in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. i got one minute left. Hey, Jesus Christ is Lord of Lords. I'd like to tell you, I'd like to tell you right now that get on Facebook. Look us up. Amen. <laughs> Glory be to God. It's under David Branning. Amen. Look us up on Facebook. Look us up uh, on our webpage, uh, gospeltimeministries.weebly.com. Amen. Jesus is real. Amen. Join us up on our channel on YouTube. We got ministering on there. We got singing. We got preaching. Amen. God bless you. On our YouTube channel, it's under Samuel Brandon. It's under my name. Just look us up. Hey, join us. Join us on, uh, on YouTube. Amen. God bless you. 
We're here to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Until tomorrow, God bless.